Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Blood Bowl. You're joining me here with the Anonymous Anorexus against a typically named Amazon team. Um, and Red is here as well. Bullshit. Yep, it is quite bullshit that his team is called Brestus Team Ever. Um, let's um, let's kick. And we're off. I'm still going to complain about your previous games. No, it won't really help anything. I can't fucking change them. Besides, you're only just spoiler them for people who haven't watched them yet. <laughs> well, it's not much of a spoiler to complain about it. I mean, they watch your channel, they know what to expect. <laughs> so, <laughs> looking at his team, um, he actually has 16 players. <clears throat> Um, I elected to go with full guard in the line just to keep him from punching anything. Um, he has an agility guard player, and that's his only guard player on his team actually. A uh, block fen thrower, a block catcher, and this number 10 um, has a niggling, so I'll definitely be blitzing him. Uh, a mighty blow blitzer, and a pass sure hands thrower. Now he has 16 players on his team, so he has a lot of reserves out here. Even a the plus thing is movement. Though, if, uh, if you manage to get hold of the ball, how is he ever going to get it back off you? With that little guard, it's just. Well, I mean, it can be quite annoying with all of his um, dodging around, and it can't be. I can't be actually uh, hard pressed to reach the end zone if he just keeps on playing an elf game, of just screening me. Yeah, but I mean, if he does that, it's going to give you the chance to grind him down with a tackle players. Oh Hopefully. yeah, but that's but that's why he has 16 players to have a lot of reserves. I yeah, know, but even if this game were a draw, it would still be a victory for you if you skilled up like three people. Yeah. So, um, <clears throat> the newly skilled V neck, I gave him a guard, just because I, there's not that many, there's not that many, uh, <laughs> there's not that many um, <clears throat> placement matches or whatever it's called, group stage matches left before the actual playoffs. So. I wanted to give him guard. Um, if there was more games, I would have given him mighty blow just to skill up. Um, and the no pain, no gain has gotten tackle. Um, he had mighty blow before, so I mainly gave him tackle because of this match. I don't know. Is is that considered cruel? That is cruel. Oh, with some, yeah, a mighty blow against the niggling. That's not <laughs> fun. Uh, and we're off to an amazing start yet again. Well, this we'll makes the game a lot. Didn't see this coming. And this makes the game a lot more interesting, I think. Wait, how is this interesting? He has sixteen players, and you have like twelve. Yeah. <sighs> and you're down one already? Yeah. Who was the Tomb Guardian? Um, Slimming Black, the one with block. You do know this is the way that every game with you always starts. Like every single time. What? The... How? You know, apart from that game that we played, where you managed to kill my werewolf before the game had actually started. That, that was a nice. That was a nice blitz, blitz kickoff. <laughs> actually, turn zero. The clock actually, is not running. I actually didn't know that you could uh, you can foul in a blitz action. In the blitz kickoff. That's quite um, amazing. So, I'm probably going to blitz this uh, mighty blow player. Just because he has more than one mighty blow player, you do know that. What he does? Yeah. Let's have a look here. Um... Where? No, he doesn't. <laughs> Maybe I just clicked on the same one twice. Christ. <laughs> Um. Ah. 
So this is the point where I have to say, what's your initial plan? And before you tell me, just do the complete opposite of what you think you should do. It never works out for you, ever. I'm going to play an elfy uh, passing game. Great. Ideal. Yes. Stick with that plan. You just told me to do the opposite. Yeah, and you did. Uh, I think I've been double tricked. <laughs> now that's not what I want, though. Um... Actually not the smartest move to put both my Tomb Guardians next to his guard player. <clears throat> not the smartest move, you say? These are words we often rarely hear you say. Because now he can get a one die blitz on my Tomb Guardian again. You know, I mm. love the Camry Chair Leader. I mean, like, I don't even know what that is. It's a female skeleton waving sticks around. Yeah, baby, twirl those heads. Look at that go. <laughs> it's like, why? Mr. Cheerleader, what else would you do? Isn't this like. Shouldn't this be horrific to the Camry team, though, considering they're all skeletons and undead? I mean, she actually has skulls on sticks. Hmm. Yeah. I've got you... the balls moving, look. You are kind of right. I mean, it is still. It just doesn't make sense to me at all. Yeah, that, I mean, you're. She you're, had colourful ribbons. You're right. Also, I just realised that the Amazon logo on uh, Line Woman goes on their right ass cheek. And considering he's picked breasts, it's like. She has breasts on her ass now. That is. Good work. I mean, Good work. that's a win win. So oh, I actually, think... it's also true of your Tomb Guardians. I just realized your Tomb Guardians on their asses have their fish bones. Yeah. So overall, I hope you lose. Just based on that alone. That's not very nice. That's not very nice either. Now he's knocked my dirty player off the field. Yeah, but it makes the game more interesting. Oh, shut your face. <laughs> I warned you, this is how it always happens. You need to start playing that passy elfie game as soon as possible, otherwise you're doomed. What the fuck? One die blocks galore. And chaos galore. Holy shit. Well, so much for your initial prediction that you know Amazon teams bloat and die at high team value. I mean, that's just silly. Look at how effectively they're dismantling you. It's only turn two. With fucking one die blocks. This reminds me of the last game. Who's spoilering now? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's really strange as well, because I mean, like, obviously we're playing in a crypt where yeah. there is no shortage of bones and like extra parts for your players. You would have thought you would have had like some sort of power up, like home field advantage. Oh yeah, like an extra, extra chance of regenerating. Something like that. I mean, it's it's working me a disadvantage at the moment. It's like the pitch is sapping your players. It's trying to trying to get them put back into the tombs. Hmm. Hmm. See, my prediction now is that the entire first half is going to be dominated by him, and you will probably suffer many more losses. Maybe. That is, unless you, you know, get off your lazy ass and start rolling loads of uh, pows. Just not trying hard enough. 
I got tackle, so I shouldn't have to roll pals. It, see, it's that attitude. It's that attitude right there. But I'm just getting pushers, so what the fuck? Ah. With mighty blow and everything. And nothing happens. Ah. Apparently there is another spectator to this game. Oh? Yeah, we're having a conversation in chat, it's great actually. Oh, who Apparently is it? spectators can talk to each other. Who's spectating? Duriel. Oh, okay. Okay. Look, look, look. The ball is moving again. So, I'm not quite sure. I mean, he's probably going to blitz my, um, Cora. But his, um, mighty blow blitz is a bit out of position for that. Well, I mean, there's still no sh no shortage of players on your team with all of value 7 that he could just spend his time hurting. <laughs> oh, we should invite this other spectator for commentary. He's like, he's just providing all of my lines. <laughs> Brilliant. I don't even have to think. I can just read out loud what he's saying. Sure, I'll just read the chat log. So, originally, that's a lot of Zons. This Kemri coach sucks balls. Tomb Guardians on the line of scrimmage, WTF, then overcommit heavily. I see, he is bad. <laughs> hmm. That he dies as well. What the other spectator? You can't just no. kill people because they criticize him. <sighs> also, that made no sense. How come there is a splatter of blood on the floor under a skeleton? Explain that. Um. Um. They they all carry um. What's it called? Bags of uh, pig blood for ritual purposes. It's part of the uh, regeneration purpose. Or sorry, ritual. That makes no sense. Bones need blood to regenerate. Of course they do. Well, if you say so, I mean, you're the Camry coach. Um. So I need to get in there. Which means blitzing that guy. I think you should just surrender before you get bashed anymore. Take some serious damage. Mm. Would bloody well help if I could kill something. So if I knock that guy down, then I can blitz in there. Yeah, get that guy. That guy right there, that one. The one that I'm pointing at. But that means... Mm, hmm. One, two, three, four. Maybe I can do that. Yeah. 
<laughs> oh, this, the other guy thinks that this is a cunning plan by you to encourage the Zons to score quickly. Well, that sucks. Don't worry though, I set him straight. I was like, nah, he's just, uh, he's just really bad. Ah, okay. Yeah, don't, um... Oh good, I put a guard player right next to him. Um so yeah, this is going horribly. Yeah, this um anonymous gentleman is concerned that you have left your other Ferora completely open. Yeah, I have. And it's not anonymous, it's fucking Juriel. I'm not allowed to say it out loud. Of course I am. Privacy protection on YouTube. Do you know Juriel? Well, not personally. Ah. Wow. This is going really well for you. I agree. I mean, what interests me is that the crosses on the graves look a bit like German war medals. Strange. Well, it could be a German crypt. In the Warhammer world. Where Germans don't exist. Well, Ooh, why not? Reichland, Reichland Rivas? That sounds vaguely German. Hmm. hmm. Well, at least most of his reserves are unskilled. I mean, he does actually have a blitzer off the field, weirdly enough. Yeah, and he has a unskilled lineman here, so that's a bit curious. I don't know. But this doesn't look good for the Tomb Guardian on the floor, that seems like a... Um, Bit of a painful following spot. Hmm. Aha! Dunk! But then that happens. But probably not. Let's hope that. No, of course not. I have tackle and block and everything, and shit just doesn't work. You know, with all of these pushes that you get, you should get strip ball on someone. Maybe they would never have the ball ever. Come on then, what's the master plan? How are you going to get yourself out of this one? I have no fucking clue. Even the number 10 with a niggling I can't fucking kill with my Dublo. It's just ridiculous. <laughs> So at least he can't reach the end zone right now to just dodge down and score. Well, I mean, even if he did at this point, it would only benefit him, really. <coughs> so, Wait, I mean, benefit you. 
Yeah. Hmm. Also, it occurs to me that the uh, the catchers are wearing what can only be described as Converse sneakers, which is a bit strange. Not very fashionable. True. I do like the Blitzer skull masks. They're pretty cool. Although, come to think of it, I'm not sure that's a mask. I think that is actually the skull of something bigger than a Blitzer. Wouldn't make sense. Well, you say that, but... At what point does it become silly? You know, like, they have a skull inside of their head and then they put a skull on their head. You know, what comes next? Kill something bigger than the skull that they took and put that on. What is it with those fucking one die blocks? My god. No, well, he does have dodge and block, I mean, one dice isn't that risky to him. Well, no, but still, I mean, he, mean, he needs a five or a six to make it work. That's the problem. I don't care if he gets a push, but it's just the fact that he keeps on getting, keeps on knocking me down with it. Well, you know, you're a pile of bones, and he's not. Very true. He even brought the extra bones, you know? Like some sort of bird skull on the uh, blitzers. Wait, no. Giant skull on the blitzers. You've got, like... Bird skulls on the lined women. I mean, he's all boned up. Hmm. So, unless he tries to dodge that lined woman, woman out as well, then. Oh. That's a strange dodge. Um. This might mean I have to take a one die. Enough players down there. It's a shame because if you could prevent him from scoring, I his killed heart, someone. <gasps> Look at that! I just did something. Not that it freaking matters because he has 16 something players. Something happened. Yeah, you badly hurt an unskilled line woman, of which he still has like, you know, two replacements since yeah. he be replacing the one that got sent off, and he still has that blitzer just standing around with dodge and block. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's. Uh... Oh no, we have another spectator. Travel Scrabble has arrived. Oh. Well, this is the same. God, this is like a playoff match. I mean, God, three spectator. When does this ever happen? And look, a push. Woohoo! Who'd have thought? You know, if you had Frenzy, this wouldn't be happening. Yeah, no, it would, because he has Fend. You know, if you had Juggernaut and Frenzy, this wouldn't be happening. And nothing happens. Well, load of GFIs. Players I don't really want to take GFIs with. Like, if you can somehow miraculously prevent him from scoring, you might be in a good position. I don't think I can. You know why? Because he's not playing the Elfie game. True. You could have screened them off. So now it's a 1 and 9 for him to score with just a dodge. Okay. So, mm, 
that didn't really change anything. Well, doesn't matter. Touchdown! Um, I get a Tomb Guardian back. And my, um... No, my Dota player wasn't, um... Uh, he regen from me. Yes, he did. Okay, so... If he gets a reroll... Not that he needs him. Um... And I'm an idiot. Because that guy doesn't have guard as I thought he would. Holy shit, I'm bad. Well, it's all coming out now. In admitting it's the first step. Now hopefully we can improve. Hey, look at that beast man. <laughs> oh wait, it's a minotaur. Wow. Standing next to a beast man. Doesn't look so big on the sidelines. Oh, I killed something. I didn't even... Ugh. Shit, I'm playing like crap right now. Doesn't matter. Um. Um Yeah. Okay. Um so before I, I need to do a handoff to be able to score. The key word for this match apparently is complete lack of urgency. That's the title. Okay. Well, I'll remember to put that in the video title. Yeah, Deluge plays Camry. No urgency at all. Yep. Okay, so what's he going to do with this number five? Alright. So, what actually is the game plan from here? Um, giving the ball to number eight and running him up. Um, yeah. Uh, 
Long vomit. <laughs> Miracle pass, go. Hmm. Um, no, I'd ra much rather just do a handoff. 75% chance to succeed. Uh, but if that fails, I don't have anyone near enough to score. Something went right. Yep. So right now he's going to dodge out there. So that's a tackle. I'd really like to do some GFIs up there with him. This guy can't really reach. He can I? So, yeah, more one time. Um, what the fuck? Um, in theory, his um plus movement player can reach with a dodge and two GFIs into a one die blitz. That's the tackle sign. It's kind of curious that he's playing Amazons and yet he hasn't really done that much dodging so far. Well, Amazons. Well, he needed to. I mean, he's been bashing you. Amazons isn't that great at dodging. I mean, they're as good as any other at Jersey 3 team at dodging. You can just use a reroll instead of using dodge, really. Yeah, so that's annoying. Okay. Because that guy has fend. Um, so even if I blitz him and knock him down, then I won't follow up and I'll still be on Sakat Zone. So, it's pretty much dodge. No, it's just a dodge. He has block, not guard. Well, no, seventy five percent chance. Ah, shit. 